Hello, and here we are on the first day of Holy Week. Yesterday was the day of celebrating Jesus coming into Jerusalem to be worshipped, adored, cried out to by the crowds, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. But the next day gives way to a week of Jesus being in Jerusalem, of teaching, of being with his friends, of reaching out to people, but to be rejected. And so we anticipate a week where we look to the cross, but of course we also look to the resurrection. And so for Jesus and his disciples, it becomes a week of anticipation. Anticipation of the Passover, of celebration, of worship, of fellowship. But also, actually, it gives way to the anticipation of the cross with betrayal, arrest and crucifixion. It's a week of personal conversation, of camaraderie, of fellowship, but it leads on to denial, betrayal and desertion. It's a week of rising anticipation, of rising tension. And we're in a time of uncertainty, a time of tension, a time of anticipation that's both good and awful. We have a Prime Minister in hospital and we pray for his recovery. We have a monarch who encourages us to be resolute and firm, to be worthy at this time with a promise that we'll meet again. But our focus goes higher to the Prince of Peace, the King of Kings, who humbly walks the way of the cross. And the excitement of Palm Sunday gives way to many or for many, to despair and dissolution, disillusionment and desertion. But another Sunday will bring a brighter hope. There is a king who says, we'll meet again. And that king comes to his disciples behind closed doors and says, peace be with you. In these uncertain times, let us be a people of hope, a people of peace, and a people of love. I'd like to leave you with a prayer. It's the prayer of Richard of Chichester. Thanks be to you, my Lord Jesus Christ, for all the benefits you have won for me, for all the pains and insults you have borne for me. O most merciful Redeemer, friend and brother, may I know you more clearly, love you more dearly, follow you more nearly, day by day. God bless you as you walk this holy week, and may we rejoice in celebrating the resurrection of Jesus this coming Sunday.